Guys, it's week three. All right, you're about to see a rare moment in history. Not really, but yes, kind of. I'm gonna take ballet class right now. Uh, my teacher and my students who do take this class as well will have no idea I'm taking the class because I'm not gonna show myself, but I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna try my best. I think it's like an intermediate or advanced class. Who knows? Let's see how bad I feel after. It's almost the end of the week. Um... Which doesn't mean anything. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, right? Where it's like the week has just become just one long blob and you just have to make it as uh, productive as possible. Do you think people should have canvases and paint in their house? No. no. <laughs> wow! Why not? I was thinking about your trees, I'm like, wow, did she really take the easy way out and it's not gonna do trees? Look good, right? It's a little out there. A little dark. quite late. It's Friday night. I just wanted to record myself, I guess, having a real moment. Wanted to talk a little bit about my night experience just because, and I'm not saying like, oh, the way you guys see me, it's like me pretending to be okay. Like, no, I'm not crying all the time. But at night, it's very difficult for me to go to sleep every night. It's difficult for me because it's kind of like when things calm down, there's not much distraction happening. And in those moments, of course, I think about my mom a lot. And there's moments where it's like, you know, where it hits you and you feel like, is it true? Like, wait, like, is it real? Like, you know, it's like, what? And I think a lot of realizing the grief or realizing that someone is gone is having those moments, you know, where it's like, like someone telling you, that they've passed away the first time is what it feels like when you have those moments of what's real and what's not. I just wanted, I guess, to show some vulnerability, um, not for you to feel sorry for me because if anything, I tend to show a lot of strength because I, I don't like for people to um, smother me or look at me, you know, sad or I really don't like that. It actually makes me feel worse, I guess. If there's anything that I have to say about this is uh, to like just and I know we hear it all the time but it's like be kind to other people because again the cliche line like you don't know what other people are going through I remember that the day after her her mass I think it was it was gonna be like Valentine's Day the next day it's February 14 or the Valentine was gonna be the following day I can't really remember going to Miami Beach I wanted to get a gift for Alex I remember walking the streets of like Lincoln Road and Miami Beach and seeing so many people and I remember walking and I was just like thinking if anyone says anything to me mean if anyone pushes me I'm gonna lose it I'm that's it like if someone right now does something I have no idea how I'm gonna react like I'm either gonna just start bawling and crying I'm either gonna start running I'm gonna get in a fight and punch someone I didn't want any confrontation with anything or with anyone because I was so vulnerable after I, I bought the little piece of jewelry for Alex and I walked back to my car I remember sitting down in my car and just started crying because I thought like so many people were walking and like no one all right uh so my camera actually died so this is day two because my camera died um but to finish my thought i just wanted to tell you no one knew that day what i was going through and it would have just taken one person to have like pushed the button uh just always keep in mind that you really have no idea how strong people can be at putting up masks to how they truly feel and you might never know if you're going to be that one person to trigger someone to do something stupid or cry or you know go back to drinking like you just have no idea 
So I think that the easiest thing you could do as a person is just to be kind to everyone. Oh, McDonald had a farm. Yeah. Okay. The spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so I just saw my niece. Um, it's torture because I want to hug her so bad and grab her so bad and squeeze her because she's so cute and she's growing up so fast. But of course, I did pretty good with keeping my distance, although my sister makes fun of me because she thinks I'm not keeping my distance. Hi, just wanted to come here to do a little closure to this video. Um, this week was extremely rough on me. Um, it was very emotional. I was easily triggered and easily upset about anything. Um, I was very sensitive and a lot of sorries, a lot of anger, um, a lot of confusion, a lot of what ifs. A lot happened this week. Um, it was totally an emotional roller coaster. There's moments where I get really upset at myself because I tend to really know how to control myself and control my emotions. And the fact that right now I have no control and my emotions are all over the place is very frustrating, which doesn't make things any easier. So something that I'm working on right now is just to be kind to myself. Um, and and take those breaks when I need to. Just not pretty much give myself any pressure for anything other than, of course, the work that I do have to complete um, because I do work. But other than that, just making sure that anything I do is with kindness, love towards myself, and for fun. So, yeah. But like always, guys, stay wild, stay wanderless, and stay weird. I'll catch you next week for another vlog like this one or a bit more educational. Who knows where I'll be next week, but I hope to see you there. Subscribe if you want to. <laughs> Subscribe. Just kidding. Okay. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Uh. Bye, Victoria. I love you. Bye. Bye. Un besito. Un beso. Mwah, I love you. I love you.